Hey, what's up everybody, it's Brian Joni. So today, I'm really excited. We're gonna unbox my brand new lightsaber. Don't forget this video is brought to you by, actually, it's brought to you by no one because I'm indulging in something that is not music or DJ related today. So let's open this up. So since I posted our engagement video and photo, I started getting Facebook targeted ads to Saber Masters and they had a sale, an ongoing sale, and it seems like that sale, they always have that sale, which is buy one, get one free. The price was $200 for a, pretty much a full lightsaber hilt and electronics and the blade. $200, buy one, get one free. Then I did some research on it. While there was nothing really negative I found about it, I was led by a Reddit post to another saber company called Dark Wolf Sabers. And they had hilts that were as low as 89 bucks, which is half the price, uh, less than half the price of that 200. And I wanted a really simple hilt that I could twirl around with, not one that I'm scared because I know I busted up my Darth Vader saber in the past. So I just wanted a simple hilt and a normal blade, not a NeoPixel. So this is taped up really well. Now Dark Wolf, it looks like based on the tracking, their sabers come from China, like direct from China. And it's almost like they're made to order. And it took me about, I think it was like, I bought it on May 14th. So it took 10 days to deliver this. It's really well taped, which is good because it was, you know, I had to go through customs and being handed off through different countries. All right. So here we go. Here is the hilt. I got it in black. Pretty nice, all metal. This spins and opens. I'm guessing this is the battery. Yep, battery pack. I like this because it's simple. The recess button, it makes it harder to accidentally push when you're turning. Fairly light compared to Jade Saber. That, that Saber is actually pretty heavy without the sound electronics. All right, so let's put this to the side. And we have a diffuser blade. And I think it's wrapped, in, yeah, it's wrapped in plastic. So the way the Saber works, if this is your first time ever learning about these custom lightsabers, is they're essentially an LED flashlight and they you put the blade on and it's diffused, so it lights up the whole Saber. Now there are blades that are more advanced called the NeoPixels where they actually light up within the Saber and there's a contact, an electronic contact at the end of the blade, but I figured I'd keep it simple for a simple saber. I would do the NeoPixel ones for a really well-designed, heavily designed lightsaber. USB charger right here. And these are, this is my Allen wrench and this is probably to tighten the blade. And we also have a belt clip, but not sure. Oh, I get where, I get how that works. So this is the CoverTech wheel that mounts to the hilt. So you can mount the hilt onto a belt clip. So we'll put the cover tech on. Uh, it's a little, there we go. So basically if I had this on my belt, I could um, click this and then it would essentially just hang right here. <laughs> it looks like a flashlight cause it's all black. License and registration, please. Um, one thing about the cover tech is that it does not line up. <laughs> it doesn't line up with the button, which you know what? I think that's, that might be purposely done so that you don't accidentally click the button on your leg. So that might actually be a smart thing, but when you look at it, it's not aesthetically pleasing because 
it doesn't line up. Maybe they could have done it at a 90 degree angle instead, but this is fine. I wish that they gave me a black charging wire because this looks kind of funny with the, the white charging, with the white wire, but not a big deal. So this specific hilt is the Lupin Rose RGB X Smooth Swing. And I, I bought the Eco Smooth Swing Tier 1 Black Hill 32 inch blade because I learned that the 36 is kind of too long. And I, with it, I have the CoverTech, the CoverTech wheel drink holder and the CoverTech attachment. Total price I spent on this whole set is $128. So this is a full hilt with sound smooth swing and, and the blade. So let's, while we charge that, let's open up the blade. All right, so now the blade is ready. Hopefully we got some charging here. I like that the button is um, red when it charges. It has a very Sith-like look. I've been waiting for this day for a long time. Okay. Okay, it's really, it's pretty loose in there and it's not the perfectly snug um, fit that little bit of give and we're gonna probably have to use the tools to tighten that in there. There we go. Playing some music there. How do I turn that music off? I think that thing is loud. Okay, I don't want any of that sound playing right now. All right, so I kind of figured it out. I couldn't stop the music, oh my gosh. It was nuts. But um, I was able to figure out how to cycle through the colors, so I have to um, do a two flash. It's one button for everything. And these cards are the instructions. So if I do a two flash, I can cycle through all the colors. So if I want, this is blue right now. So one, two, one, two. Oh, that looks good. That red. Let's uh, let's turn off the lights. Oh, I love this. It's cycling through all the colors. Nice, smooth swing action. It's really light. Yeah, I love how light it is actually. It's the only thing I could see happening is I can accidentally open the the electronics compartment because it's not locked. Oh, this feels really nice. I love this. So let's try turning this on again because I want to compare the brightness to Jade's lightsaber. Jade's lightsaber, definitely brighter. Let me get a similar color. There we go. And let's wait for a similar color. Uh, yeah, Jade's lightsaber is maybe a tad brighter. It, th this one's a dedicated color. And this one's RGB. This one only has a blue and red LED while this has color changing. They're not too far apart. And I don't even think you can really tell the difference in the camera. Kind of happy with this RGB if it's, it could keep up with the brightness, almost keep up with the brightness of the dedicated LEDs. All right, well, it's dark out, so let's take this outside. All right, let's turn this on. It takes a big, a really big hit to activate the strike. Like, you can't just tap it.
lightsaber from Dark Force Sabers.